This is the WBZ News Update. I'm Nick Giovanni with a check of our top stories beginning in Ipswich, where a pastor is vowing to rebuild after the ceiling of his church came crashing down. Now, the pastor called it a miracle no one was inside at the time. A look inside the Living Faith United Methodist Church shows some of that debris. An Episcopal church nearby off part of its building for Sunday services. Attorney General Maura Healy, meanwhile, calling for more oversight of private colleges. This in the wake of the Mount Ida closure. She's asking lawmakers to establish a new financial oversight office to prevent sudden closures in the future. Healy calls Mount Ida a wake-up call. In a tribute in Bedford for this Memorial Day holiday, the town honoring two of its fallen heroes. It dedicated the bridge over the Concord River in memory of Private First Class John Hart and Lance Corporal Travis Adesiato. Now, both men died in Iraq fighting the war on terror. Now for a check of the forecast, here's meteorologist Barry Burbank. Oh, hi there, Nick, and hi, everybody. Here's what's going on with the forecast for today. You'll find a bank of clouds stretch across much of northern New England. That's in association with a cold front, which will be settling southward. So eventually, this bank of clouds will be shifting more and more to the south. So we'll occasionally see some packages of clouds go across northern Massachusetts, and eventually we'll see some of that shifting down uh, closer to Boston and points south of the Mass Pike later on in the day. Now, it doesn't look like there's going to be much support for much in the way of thunderstorm action, although we can't rule it out completely. But we do have support for the temperature reaching 90 degrees. The temperature's rising really quickly this morning. Could be 90 or slightly higher. I think Boston will get its second day of 90 degrees for this year. First one was on May 3rd. It'll be cooler on the Cape and the Islands because of that southwest breeze. There is an air quality alert in effect from near the Mass Pike and points south in many communities for the buildup of ground level ozone, which will probably be. Uh, potentially exceed unhealthy standards in these locations. So take it easy, especially those with respiratory uh, ailments in those locations. Traveling across the nation, this is what we're finding. Very hot weather in the middle part of the country and the showers and storms over the southeastern states. And it's this cold front right in here, which is going to make all the difference in the world. It's going to be coming down and mostly it's going to be arriving here this evening. It arrives first up in Maine and New Hampshire this afternoon and starts crashing down into the North Shore. And the temperature starts falling swiftly behind this as the wind shifts into the northeast. And tomorrow we end up with just some showers scattered around, some areas of mist, and so much cooler by as much as 35 or 36 degrees lower in Boston and many other communities from what it will be today. And then on uh, Memorial Day on Monday, it's a slow recovery, starting off dank and dreary and gloomy with maybe some mist in a few spots, hopefully turning partly sunny so the afternoon may warm up to 73 inland and 61 at the coast. After that, most of the rest of the next week looks on the warm side. Nick, it should be in the 80s. Now we're talking very much appreciated. This has been a WBZ News Update. I'm Nick Giovanni. Have a great Saturday.